Here in this town, when I was about eight years old, approximately, I don't remember the exact age, but that's when I had that dream for the first time. I had a dream with our Lord Jesus Christ. In that time, and at that age, for me, God was who I had been taught, which was a sculpture or a painting, a God who was very far away, very, very far, thousands or millions and millions of miles in distance. That was the God in whom I believed in at that age when I was about seven or eight. Therefore, I had no idea how this God that the Bible describes was, because the Bible describes a God in spirit, a great God who fills all things, and he is covering all of the universe. And so I dreamt, I dreamt with the Lord Jesus Christ, and I have shared this many times in the book of experiences as well. I, I tell of this dream, and I had the dream that it was the end of the world. It was the end of the world, and there were two heaps or two mountains of bodies, of dead bodies, cadavers, and the Lord Jesus and he looked like an ordinary man, but with a tunic and with sandals and with a halo. And so he looked typically like men from the Arab countries or from Israel who used the tunics and sandals. And I knew it was our Lord Jesus Christ. And I was the only one there who had survived. Everyone else was dead. And the Lord then would take a body from an arm and would then throw it to another side. And then he would throw another one to another side. And I would look at him and the Lord would tell me, help me pick the souls for the kingdom. And I said, yes, Lord. Yes, I'll help you. And well, I demandingly said, yes, Lord, I'll help you, but never leave me. I would say to him, take me to your glory. I want to be with you in your glory. And he didn't speak to me, but with his head, he would do this. And so I began to work. And I also began to launch bodies, but I would launch them all to heaven. I would not throw anyone to hell because it was heaven and hell, heaven and hell. And so I would launch everyone to heaven, heaven. And that was the dream. I woke up from that dream and it was never erased. It was never erased from my memory. I always kept it in my heart until at the age of 16 years old, I had the opportunity to read the Bible for the first time. I began to read the Bible for the first time and I began to get to know the things of the Lord in the evangelical church because many years later, that's when the church of God began. But I did share... I remember I shared the, the dream with the mother of the pastor in charge. And she said, well, that's a calling from God. That's what she said. And I kept that in my heart. And brothers and sisters today, it's, well, in the years that have passed, serving the Lord, it just feels like yesterday that I just started and I look at you. And I see you and I see the fruit of the work. I see the fruit of the work and the joy that I have in me. It doesn't fit in my heart. And the years have passed so quickly. And I tell the Lord to please lengthen the time because I haven't done all of the work yet. But I would like for you, all of you, to follow the footsteps and to follow the path and to keep fidelity and loyalty to God and sincerity and that trust in God.